Oh, what the fuck? Good day, my boys. It's a sending suit back at it again with the lowest quality content on this entire fucking platform. Now, you might want to ask where a sending soup has disappeared to in the past seven months. Was he in the grocery store, rotting in the sewers, or perhaps found deceased after a goddamn Clorox cocktail? God, I wish. But no, instead, I've been the Residentio Il Primo of the, uh, Bay of Crippling Depression, as I like to call it. It's right next to the fucking suicide forest. Can't wait for that hammer to drop. So how about today we take a look at the game that kept me from the sweet release of death the longest. Yakuza Business Tour! You shitting me? No belly, I'm afraid not, because as you can see, my life is as vapid as fucking vaporwave. Now don't think I didn't see you there in the comments, I see you typing away with your disgusting faces. Ascending soup, what the hell is a business tour? Well, have some goddamn patience, sit down, and I'll tell you. Also, I'm gonna be using transition slides now because... I'm a worthless piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think wrote this game? Nietzsche? I could honestly end this review with three simple words. It's fucking Monopoly. Or is that four words? I don't fucking know. But yeah, that really is the entire game. It's just Monopoly with a few extra gimmicks, some stupid fucking cards, and that's it. But, but, it's <gasps> online Monopoly. And when given the choice between a piece of shit Monopoly software developed by a team of chimps and an actual Monopoly board, I'll go with the video game version any day of the week, because my least favorite scent is the scent of other human beings. Because I'm actually a lizard created by the Zuck to colonize the entire population of Zimbabwe. <laughs> but you didn't hear that from me. <sighs> this video is a fucking mess. Yeah, it's a very mundane concept, but I am someone who enjoys the most mundane shit you can think of. And because of that, I tend to enjoy media that shows mundane and simple shit. I love friends, for example, because these things are rather realistic. They are things that normal people also come across, even though they're blown way out of proportion. Then again, I also like the young ones with the weird communist undertones and talking furniture and, and junk I, I, I'm derailing again. Basically, I like simple nonsense, and Monopoly is something that even I, with an IQ accumulated through 18 years of diligent studies of approximately seven, can understand and win. Yeah, fuck off. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know the basics of Monopoly, right? Step 1. Set up your Monopoly board. Step 2. Roll them dice. Step 3. Buy your favorite and most lucrative cities. Step 4. Casually assemble the Fourth Reich. Business Tour adds to this frustration with several new gameplay elements. The jail has now been transformed into a lost island, and landing on it plays a neat little bongo tune. The Holocaust is alive! At the start of the game, three cities are chosen as festival cities, which means that they generate far more WONGA when an enemy lands on them. This spot is the World Tour, not that one which, after one turn, transports the player to the city of their choice. And then there's the World Championship. KILL ME NOW! The concept of the World Championship is very easy to understand. It takes the prize of a normal city, and shoots it into the stratosphere! And as you can probably tell, that leads to certain frustrations. <laughs> Seriously though, this is the fucking manifestation of pure AIDS. Some of the game's cities are already expensive enough as it is, but when you flip on that world championship, these prices just become fucking outlandish. From the moment one player or team has this on one of their cities, all the others are just like, well, guess we're fucked. Okay, boys, we can leave the game like bitches or we can go bankrupt. Uh, the Joker, what do you think? Ascending Soup is the biggest faggot on YouTube! Okay, thanks. Hey, Bolar, anything else? Yay, yeah, Zoopsay! You're all fucking useless. Every time someone lands on a city with a world championship, some Indian kid probably gets an extra kidney stone. Oh, wait, I forgot! The world championship cities also have a jingle when you step on them. Kill yourself. I guess I should also talk about the different modes. All 
three of them. There's the offline game mode to play against your friends, the online game mode to play against people who are not your friends and will never be your friends, and the tournament mode. Which I have no fucking clue what it is because I'm not brave enough for tournaments. As far as I know the tournaments only exist to get extra skins for your character which to be fair is kinda cool. This also leads me onto something else, the characters, or specifically the lack thereof. Excluding the obtainable characters from the tournament mode, at the beginning there are four characters. There's one for the girls, one for the girls in transition, one for the people who want to properly play the fucking game, and one for the emoji spamming degenerates. Speaking of emojis, what subhuman's idea was it to add these things? Losing wasn't enough of a kick in the dick, now I gotta deal with this shit too. That's really where the gameplay ends, it's Monopoly with a few extra improvements, some nice, some not so nice. Also, it's quick. As opposed to spending, I don't know, hours, days, weeks, screaming at friends and relatives alike, you can shatter friendships in just 30 minutes. Ah, the luxury of the first world. And because the game requires little to no concentration, it's, it's, it's relaxing, soothing. Like the soft sound of the waves crashing against the beach or the breeze wafting around in the beautiful forests of Germany. <laughs> now all of this would make Business Tour into a really solid online game that you can play with your friends. But, what's this? I smell something foul. Something disgusting, something manipulative. Oh, of course it's loot boxes and microtransactions, my favorite! Oh, what the fuck, I'm bleeding. So yeah, you can buy coins to either open one of these loot boxes or, alternatively, redo your fucking dice throw. And I hear what you're thinking. But ascending soup, I think that revolutionary communism could never succeed because the mentality of the people is not geared towards sharing, meaning that every attempt will result in failure similar to those of Maoist China and Soviet Russia. Yeah, same. And also... But ascending soup? Pay to win in an already luck-based game sounds like complete nonsense. Yeah, congrats Jimmy, I guess you too are smarter than the Cro-Magnon idiots at Insert developer name here. Unfair game, yeah, you got that right. What moronic simpleton ever thought that this was a viable idea to put into a luck-based online multiplayer game? I cannot fathom this- Now, would I say I enjoyed my time with Business Tour? Surprisingly? Yeah. Despite the flag I gave it, I've made quite a lot of memories in this game that I won't soon forget. The stupid puns, the rage quits, all of it. And after I've joined the Discord server and met my friends again, usually the first words we say to each other are Business Tour. Honestly, I implore you to play this game, at least once. It's free on Steam, so it won't cost you a dime if you don't like it. But in the end, the only thing I can confidently say is that it's... It's... Well, at least it's better than Brawlhalla, I guess. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to watch Brutal Moose eat shit food for three hours on repeat. Thanks. Bogdanov? Yes? He's done it. He's gone bankrupt? Hey! Welcome in New York! <laughs> Perfect. Monsieur Pucci? No, ni kurate! Seidon shite irare no ka! Activate the universe alternate. Well done. Madame Merkel. Jawohl, Herr Bogdanov. Il suicidal, Lord Bogu. Il will die shortly.
Excellent. Fine Danoser. Extract Morangre. Tisons les first step in my master plan.